clever multiplication. Hello everyone! Today you are going to use a multiplication array to solve multiplication calculations. You will also have fun with geometric patterns. Activity 1. On a piece of paper, draw an array diagram like this. You should have the numbers 1 to 10 on the left for each row and the numbers 1 to 10 on the top for each column. Then draw dots in all the blocks. To use this array diagram, you need two more sheets of paper. You are now ready to use your array diagram to help you solve 3 times 4 equals. Take the one piece of paper and cover all the dots underneath the number 3 on the left. Take the other piece of paper and cover all the dots after the number 4 at the top. Now count the dots that you can see. Are you ready? Count. Did you count 12 dots? That is the answer. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. Let's do another multiplication. Use the same array diagram to solve 4 times 5 equals. You need to move the first piece of paper down by 1 to show 4 and the second piece of paper move it across by 1 to show 5. You can now count the dots. Are you ready? Count. If you got 20, that is correct. 4 times 5 is 20. Activity 2. Let's create some geometric patterns with real objects. Go into your kitchen and find some objects that you can use to make a geometric pattern. Here's an example where we have used spoons. Can you describe this geometric pattern? First there's one spoon, then two spoons, and then three spoons. You could also use paper cups to make your geometric pattern. Describe this pattern. You could describe this pattern as upright cup, Sideways cup, upright cup, sideways cup. Whatever object you use, make sure they are not dangerous. Activity 3. You need to draw and cut out 9 triangles that are all the same size and shape. Next, color the triangles in 3 different colors. You should have three triangles of each color. Use the triangles to create a pattern. Remember that patterns must repeat themselves. Here is an example of a pattern that you can create. How would you describe this pattern? You could describe it as green triangle, blue triangle, orange triangle, and then it repeats green triangle, blue triangle, orange triangle, and then it repeats green triangle, blue triangle, orange triangle. Now use your triangles to make a different pattern. You can even add some different shapes. Describe these patterns that you make to your parents.
Enjoy!